Today we've got something special in store. A complete rundown of the show Shaolin Showdown from its humble beginnings to the grand finale. The premise of the show revolves around four young martial artists who are chosen to be the dragon warriors, protectors of ancient mystical artifacts known as the Shen Gong Wu. These powerful artifacts have unique abilities and are scattered around the world. Their primary goal is to collect all of the Shen Gong Wu and prevent them from falling into the hands of the show's main antagonist, Jack Spicer, a brilliant but bumbling boy genius who desires ultimate power. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. In a prologue set 1500 years ago, Shaolin monk Grandmaster Dashi defeats the evil Heilin witch, Wu Ya. Imprisoning her in a puzzle box and hiding Shen Gong Wu worldwide. In the present day, Ami, the Shaolin Dragon of Water, is joined by the new students Raimundo, Clay, and Kimiko to protect Shen Gong Wu. Meanwhile, Jack Spicer accidentally releases Wu Ya, who recruits him to find the artifacts. The first Shen Gong Wu, the Mantis Flip Coin, is claimed by Jack, leading to a showdown. The young warriors secure the two ton tunic in the Eye of Dashi, and it's revealed that Clay, Kimiko, and Raimundo are the dragons of Earth, Fire, and Wind. Together, they protect the world from Wu Ya and Jack's quest for power. During their training, the Shaolin monks receive a new mission to retrieve the fist of Tebi Gong Shen Gong Wu. Each monk is given a Wu they had already earned. Raimundo gets the Mantis Flip Coin, Kimiko receives the Two Ton Tunic, and Clay gets the Eye of Dashi, leaving Ami disappointed without one. Meanwhile, Jack Spicer, now aided by a magic mime named Le Mime, competes with the monks to find the Wu. In a showdown for the Fist of Tebi Gong, Clay's creativity prevails as he patiently outsmarts Jack and catches a robin to secure the Shen Gong Wu. Kimiko and Jack engage in a Shaolin showdown to claim the monkey staff, which transforms people into monkeys. Jack uses Jet Butsu to climb effortlessly, while Kimiko relies on the Fist of Tebi Gong to knock him down, but fails, allowing Jack to win. Later, on Loch Ness, Kimiko redeems herself by obtaining the Tangle Web Calm. Back at the temple, she struggles to control it until Master Fung teaches her to focus. Meanwhile, Jack's monkey staff transformations progress and he's joined by a new ally named Katnape, while Wu Ya seeks the Golden Tiger Claws. Kimiko and the monks race Jack for the claws but face a showdown, where Kimiko overcomes obstacles and wins both the monkey staff and Golden Tiger Claws. Afterward, Wu Ya recruits Katnape to aid in her quest for Shen Gong Wu. The Shaolin monks hone their instincts in Shen Gong Wu battles, with Ami showcasing his predictive skills. Meanwhile, Jack Spicer uses the changing chopsticks to create a chameleon bot that impersonates Kimiko and kidnaps her. While imprisoned, Kimiko attempts to send a virus via her PDA into Jack's security system. When Jack challenges the chameleon bot to a Shaolin showdown for the Helmet of Jong, Kimiko loses on purpose to aid her friends. Back at the temple, Ami becomes suspicious of Kimiko's odd behavior and, along with Raimundo and Clay, confronts the chameleon bot disguised as Kimiko. Jack uses a distraction to steal the Shen Gong Wu. In the end, Wu Ya foresees the return of Mala Mala Zhang, an ancient demonic warrior made up entirely of Shen Gong Wu. The Shaolin monks discover a mysterious black dragon statue that is actually a Shen Gong Wu. Jack Spicer attempts to claim it but is thwarted by Ami. Back at the temple, they realize it's the Sapphire Dragon, a Wu that turns people into Sapphire statues. The Sapphire Dragon attacks the temple, and the monks, along with Dojo, the guardian dragon of the Shaolin Temple, try to evade it. Dojo realizes the dragon's weakness is suit, but he doesn't have any. He escapes, retrieves hot sauce, and ultimately uses it to defeat the dragon, freeing his friends. The monks acknowledge Dojo's role in saving the day, but when he suggests becoming a dragon warrior, they dismiss the idea. The Shaolin monks search for the elusive Shen Gong Wu, the serpent's tail, in New York City. Ami, separated from the group, befriends a local boy named Germain, who helps him adapt to the city life. Meanwhile, the other monks face off against Jack Spicer and his robot in a basketball-themed Shaolin showdown. With Germain's basketball skills and Ami's determination, they win the showdown and secure the Shen Gong Wu. Germain declines an offer to become a monk, but remains friends with the Shaolin team, leaving on a positive note with Ami receiving a basketball as a keepsake. One day, Clay's father visits the Shaolin Temple and expresses his desire for Clay to return to the family ranch. Meanwhile, the Shaolin monks and Dojo go in search of a new Shen Gong Wu, the Orp of Tornami, which is quickly snatched by Jack Spicer. After a failed attempt to retrieve the Wu, Clay's father insists that Clay come back to the ranch, leading to his departure from the temple. However, a new crisis emerges when they discover that the Lone Star of Texas worn by Clay's father is actually the Shen Gong Wu called the Star Hanabi, and it becomes active. 
The Shaolin monks and dojo rushed to the Bailey family ranch to warn Clay and his father, but they faced skepticism. Ultimately, Jack Spicer arrives to claim the star Hanabi, leading to a Shaolin showdown in a haystack. Clay wins the showdown, earns the star Hanabi, and reconciles with his father, who allows him to continue his training at the Shaolin Temple. The Shaolin monks get bored with no Shengong Wu activations and try to pass the time by moving a giant rock, but their teamwork quickly breaks down as they argue and exchange playful japs. Later, Dojo senses the activation of multiple Shengong Wu, leading the monks to embark on separate missions to retrieve them. Kimiko loses to Katnape in a gator hopping challenge. Raimundo falls for Chameleon Bot's disguise on the beach, but loses a hide and seek showdown. Clay loses to Tubimura in a race on an icy plane. Ami competes with Jack for the Sun Chi Lantern and wins using clever tactics. Ami rescues his captured teammates from the Heilin. They reconcile and move a giant rock together, unaware that they injured Master Feng. The Shaolin warriors discover a new Shengong Wu, the Heart of Zhang, but Jack Spicer snatches it during a showdown in a forest. Jack combines this Wu with others to bring Mala Mala Zhang, a fearsome warrior, to life. Master Feng orders the Shaolin dragons to flee with the remaining Shengong Wu to keep them out of Heilin hands. Wu Ya and Mala Mala Zhang attack the Shaolin Temple, overwhelming the monks. Ami, Kimiko, Clay, and Raimundo regroup on a mountain and devise a plan to remove the heart of Zhang from Mala Mala Zhang. Raimundo disobeys orders to stay with the Shengong Wu, and his actions lead to Wu Ya discovering their location. They defeat Mala Mala Zhang, earning Shaolin apprentice sashes, but Raimundo is scolded for his disobedience and leaves the temple in frustration. Wu Ya observes his departure, planning to make him her next partner. Raimundo, feeling unappreciated and resentful, leaves the Shaolin Temple and is tempted by Wu Ya to join the Heilin side, ultimately accepting her offer after winning a Shengong Wu showdown against Jack Spicer. Later, Raimundo returns to the temple and steals the serpent's tail Shengong Wu, revealing his betrayal to the Shaolin warriors. He teams up with Wu Ya to use the serpent's tail in combination with the reversing mirror to restore her physical form, unleashing a powerful Wu Ya who threatens the world. The Shaolin warriors confront Raimundo to stop him, leading to a showdown over the serpent's tail. To thwart Wu Ya's reign of evil in the future, Ami travels back in time using Jack Spicer's time machine, arriving 1500 years in the past. He seeks the legendary Shaolin Grandmaster Dashi to request a new puzzle box to imprison Wu Ya once more. After a humorous exchange involving Dashi's cover story as a farmer, Ami convinces him to the impending threat. Dashi agrees to craft a new puzzle box, but challenges Ami to a contest, resulting in a Shaolin showdown. Ami wins the showdown, and Dashi provides him with the puzzle box. However, Ami faces the dilemma of returning to the future, leaving this task unresolved, while Kimiko and Jack are left perplexed about how to retrieve him from the past. Kimiko is furious with Jack Spicer for falling to bring Ami back from the past, but when Wu Ya's golems attack Jack's headquarters, Kimiko, Clay, and Dojo fail to stop them and are imprisoned. Jack betrays them by siding with Wu Ya, but Raimundo, initially on the villain's side, has a change of heart and helps free his friends. Ami returns from the past with a plan to defeat Wu Ya using a puzzle box, but Wu Ya captures them all. Raimundo, realizing his loyalty to his friends is more important, opens the puzzle box, trapping Wu Ya and saving the day. After the battle, Raimundo declines the apprentice sash, but expresses his commitment to becoming a better Shaolin warrior with Ami's help. The world is saved, and even Jack offers to treat his former foes to ice cream with the promise of future battles for Shengong Wu. Dojo's insatiable craving for Shengong Wu, which occurs every 1500 years, leads to chaos, and he must be locked in a cage for 24 hours to calm down. However, he tricks Ami into releasing him, resulting in Dojo devouring most of Shengong Wu. As a result, a Shaolin showdown ensues inside Dojo's stomach, with Ami ultimately defeating Dojo by capturing him with the changing chopsticks and the Shroud of Shadows. The world narrowly avoids a thousand years of darkness, and Ami takes on the responsibility of cleaning up the temple and promising not to end the world as they know it, while Dojo has no memory of the events that transpire. The Shaolin monks face a crisis when a message from a future version of Ami arrives, warning of an evil takeover and the need to find the Sands of Time, a Shengong Wu that can time travel. After a series of misadventures, they confront Jack Spicer, who has used the Sands of Time to assemble an evil dream team of historical villains. A showdown ensues, leading to a climactic battle in an Egyptian pyramid maze. Ami and Old Ami ultimately triumph, securing the Sands of Time to prevent any misuse of its power, and the episode ends with the monks reflecting on the wisdom of their older counterpart's action.
One day, Ami and his friends venture into a rainforest to find the lasso Bo Bo Shengong Wu, but encounter Jack Spicer and his army of Wu Ya bots. After defeating Jack and retrieving the Wu, they meet Master Monk Guan, who accompanies them to the Shaolin Temple. However, Guan reveals that he has traded Dojo to the dark and powerful Chase Young in exchange for his lost Spear of Guan, which Chase had won from him in a battle. The monks, with Kimiko's tech-savvy skills, track down Dojo to Chase Young's Citadel, where they learn that Chase intends to use Dojo as an ingredient for a potion that grants immortality. Despite their efforts, they are overpowered by Chase, but Guan intervenes and challenges Chase to a duel. Guan, relying on his senses rather than weaponry, defeats Chase, securing the freedom of Dojo and the monks, and they all thank Guan for his courage and help. The Shaolin warriors are tested by Master Feng, with a challenge involving passing a lit torch without burning themselves. They receive a triple Shangong Wu alert, leading them to Texas, Clay's home state, where they encounter the Black Vipers, a gang of girls led by Clay's younger sister, Jessie. Clay's secret family connection is revealed, and Jessie challenges him to a showdown in a mine. However, Clay refuses to fight his sister, and they are left trapped until Dojo frees them. They discover the sphere of Yun Shengong Wu, but are subsequently captured by the Black Vipers and later by Jack Spicer. Jesse joins forces with Jack and Wu Ya, leading to a showdown involving motorcycle racing for Shengong Wu. Despite Clay's efforts, Jesse wins, taking their Wu, and Clay realizes he misjudged his sister. In the end, Jesse returns their stolen Wu, but keeps the wings of Tinabi as she goes on a solitary adventure. The Shaolin warriors witness an unusual phenomenon where all the Shangong Wu they've collected are drawn into the sky due to the alignment of the planets. They learn of the impending threat of Mala Mala Zhang, a powerful being formed from the combination of Shangong Wu, and are tasked with stopping it. While searching for Emperor Scorpion who can control Shangong Wu, they encounter Jack Spicer and Wu Ya. Despite their efforts, Mala Mala Zhang is formed into the Fearsome Four. They regroup and focus on improving their individual elemental powers before confronting the Fearsome Four. In a Shaolin showdown, they successfully defeat the Fearsome Four and regain control of the Shengong Wu. The Shaolin monks are faced with the challenge of not using any Shengong Wu for three days due to the Halin Comet's influence, which makes the Wu act on their own if used. Wu Ya takes advantage of this by tempting the monks to use the Wu. Raimundo disobeys orders to save his hometown from a volcano eruption caused by the comet's impact. He uses the Shangong Wu, becomes attached to them, and leaves the temple to join forces with Jack and Wu Ya again. Eventually, the other monks realize Raimundo was telling the truth about his noble intentions and convince him to return. However, Raimundo loses control and becomes a mindless giant attached to multiple Shangong Wu. Wu Ya takes over his body, leading to a Shaolin showdown for their friend. The monks win in the end, and Raimundo regains his self-will, but they tease him for his excuse. Jack Spicer, with Chase Young's assistance, successfully steals the tongue of Sai Ping and combines it with the monkey staff to control an army of green monkeys, defeating the Shaolin warriors and trapping them inside the Shaolin temple. Meanwhile, two powerful Shangong Wu, the Fountain of Hui, and the Eagle Scope, capable of revealing the greatest secrets of the universe and how to rid the world of evil, are introduced. Chase Young seeks these Wu for himself. Ami devises a plan to escape Monkey Jack and his simian army by triggering a Shaolin showdown involving the monkey bars, eventually leading to their escape. However, Chase Young acquires the Eagle Scope first, leaving the monks unable to discover the secret to destroying evil. While Chase observes them from afar with the scope, hinting at his interest in one specific monk, and Wu Ya suggests that the monks have lost their chance to defeat them. The Shaolin warriors are tasked with guarding the dangerous Halin Seed, but they underestimate its potential threat. Meanwhile, Jack Spicer and Vlad plot to steal the seed and are initially disappointed with its seemingly useless nature. However, when water splashes on the seed, it awakens the Halen plant named Gigi, which agrees to do their bidding. Gigi attacks the Shaolin Temple and transforms several of the warriors into plants. To combat Gigi, the monks search for the Moonstone Locust, a Shengong Wu that can defeat the Halen plant. Raimundo engages in a Shaolin showdown with Gigi, ultimately winning and securing the Moonstone Locust. With the plant defeated and their comrades restored, the monks learn valuable lessons about responsibility and self-focus. Jack Spicer, with the help of his partner Cyclops, takes over Chase Young's lair and uses his newfound control over Chase's jungle cats to steal Shengong Wu from the Shaolin Temple Vault. The monks and Master Feng are unable to defeat the cats and worry about their ability to guard the Wu. Ami secretly sneaks off to Chase's hideout and uses the reversing mirror to release Chase, believing he should be in control of the cats. However, Chase immediately attacks Ami, questioning his motives and suggesting he's becoming more comfortable with evil actions. 
When the other warriors discover Ami is missing and arrive at Chase's lair, Chase pretends that Ami won a Shaolin showdown against them, leaving Ami unsure if Chase let him win on purpose and he keeps this transformation from his friends. The Shaolin warriors are taught the art of deception by Master Feng to prepare them for their powerful enemy, Chase Young. They engage in a competitive exercise where they have to deceive each other to reach the top of a cliff, with Kimiko ultimately winning and Ami learning a valuable lesson about trust. Meanwhile, Jack Spicer and Katnape challenge Chase Young for an opportunity to become his apprentice. When the warriors attempt to retrieve the woozy shooter Shangong Wu, they encounter their U-Bot counterparts, reprogrammed by Katnape to thwart them. Ami secretly forms an alliance with Katnape to recover the stolen Shangong Wu, but their mission is complicated when Jack intervenes, leading to a Shaolin showdown of truth or lie, where Jack is defeated. However, Katnape tries to double-cross Ami, but she is outsmarted by the monks and disarmed. Ami's jealousy flares when Germain returns as a Wudai warrior, showcasing impressive skills that overshadow Ami's own. Meanwhile, Jack Spicer recruits Tubimura and attempts to steal the Shangong Wu, Manchurian Muska. During a confrontation between the Shaolin warriors Germain and Jack, tensions rise, leading to Germain's acquisition of the Shangong Wu. Ami and Germain's rivalry escalates, culminating in a sparring match that ends with Germain's victory. However, their dispute takes a more serious turn when Jack offers information about Germain's past to the Shaolin warriors in exchange for Clay's hat. The warriors learn that Germain is vying to become Chase Young's apprentice by retrieving the Golden Finger Shangong Wu. As they embark on a quest together, tensions persist, but they ultimately manage to resolve their differences during a challenging showdown to claim the Golden Finger. In the end, Germain chooses to leave the Shaolin Temple, leaving his future uncertain. The Shaolin warriors embark on a perilous quest deep underground to find the Hoduku mouse Shangong Wu, but encounter Jack Spicer and an infestation of deadly spiders. Seeking help, Jack forms an uneasy alliance with Chase Young, who assists in their mission. As they face imminent danger from the spiders, Ami and Chase work together to discover the creature's weakness, lava. Meanwhile, Jack's betrayal leads to a chaotic showdown, resulting in the flooding of the spider's egg chamber with molten lava to neutralize the threat. With a narrow escape, the team reunites on the surface, leaving Jack to face the consequences of his actions, while Ami and Chase part ways as temporary allies. In this episode, the Shaolin warriors vie for the prestigious Wudai warrior title, leading to a heated competition among them. They confront a new Shangong Wu, the Ying Yo-Yo, which allows access to the Ying Yang world. After battling members of Jack's team, they lose the Shangong Wu, but Chase Young unexpectedly arrives, causing chaos in the temple and leading to the disappearance of Master Feng into the Ying Yang world. Despite initial reluctance, Ami forms an alliance with Chase to thwart Jack's attack. But upon recovering the Ying Yo-Yo and returning from the Ying Yang world, Ami undergoes a sinister transformation. Ami undergoes a sinister transformation, aligning himself with Chase Young and bringing about catastrophic consequences for the world. In this episode, Ami's descent into the dark side continues as he allies with Chase Young, leaving his friends baffled and distraught. Chase manipulates Ami's newfound power to attack his own friends in the Shaolin Temple. The team realizes that Ami's transformation is due to the missing Yang Yo-Yo, and they venture into the Ying Yang world to retrieve it and restore Ami's Chi. Upon their return, they engage in a desperate battle with Ami, but Kimiko and Jack manage to enter Ami's mind to replace his Chi, temporarily restoring him to his true self. However, Chase Young intervenes, leading to a fierce confrontation where Ami ultimately reverts to his dark side, and Chase claims him as the world plunges into darkness, the remaining warriors, along with Jack and Dojo, are forced to flee, leaving behind a transformed Ami and the world in chaos, making the beginning of a thousand years of darkness. Ami remains under Chase Young's control, and the other Shaolin monks, Raimundo, Kimiko, Clay, and Dojo, work to rescue him. They engage in a Shaolin showdown with Chase, wagering their eternal loyalty for Ami's freedom in a soccer game. Despite initial challenges, the monks make a comeback and win the showdown, reclaiming Ami's good side and restoring the world to normal. Chase reveals that he manipulated Ami into seeing the secret to destroying good, not evil. This realization leads to Ami, Raimundo, Kimiko, and Clay being selected to advance to the next level as they demonstrate the importance of working together. The Shaolin monks, now Wudai warriors, are sent on a quest to find the Bird of Paradise after a mysterious prediction from an old woman. They are forbidden from using Shangong Wu and must rely on their Wudai powers and a special leave to guide them. Jack Spicer and Chase Young also seek the Bird of Paradise, leading to a race to find it. Despite challenges, they ultimately succeed in finding the Bird of Paradise and learn the important lessons about their own abilities. 
The Shaolin monks compete with Wu Ya for the Mobi Morpher Shangong Wu, but Jack Spicer's interference leads to its theft by a parrot, which is revealed to be the Ying Ying bird capturing Jack and transporting him to the Yin Yang world. Meanwhile, Master Feng sends Ami, Raimundo, Kimiko, and Clay to the Yin Yang world to retrieve Jack. They discover a prison containing Hannibal Roy Bean, a notorious villain who once influenced Chase Young. While Jack accidentally releases Bean, they later confront him, but he escapes. Upon their return, they realize that Clay has been impersonated by Bean, and they witness Bean riding the Ying Ying bird, unleashing a great evil. Chase Young warns them that this is a dire situation, leaving them deeply concerned. On Chinese New Year, Ami's fellow monks receive presents from their families, but Ami feels left out. Master Feng sends Ami, along with Kimiko, Raimundo, and Clay, on a quest to find his long-lost parents. They discover Ami Town with many Ami lookalikes, but Ami's parents turn out to be poor farmers, and Ami's last name is revealed to be Crud. Feeling obligated to stay with his parents, Ami decides to leave the temple, leaving his friends behind. However, Chase Young warns Ami that the temple is in danger from Jack Spicer, Wu Ya, and Hannibal Roy Bean. Ami rushes back to help his friends, and they confront the villains. During a showdown, Ami's mother is revealed to be a robot, and it's discovered that Hannibal Roy Bean had manipulated Jack's jackbots to impersonate Ami's relatives. Although they retrieve some Shengong Wu, Wu Ya escapes with others. On their second Wu Dai quest, the Shaolin warriors are tasked with finding the treasure of the blind swordsman and their new Wu Dai weapons. They face challenges in various locations, including Rattlesnake Ridge, a ghost town with a living portrait, a place with fighting cacti called Cactus Creek, and a cave where they encounter the blind guardian of the treasure. Despite winning the treasure, they find it empty, realizing there is more to seeing than meets the eye. As they exit the cave with the guardian, they are ambushed by Jack Spicer, Wu Ya, and outlaw bots. During the showdown, the Heilin villains steal their Shangong Wu and the Guardian. The warriors use their new Wu Dai weapons to pursue Jack's flying train and rescue the Guardian, who challenges Jack and Wu Ya to a Shaolin showdown trio, which he wins. However, they discover that Hannibal Roy Bean has stolen the treasure. The Shaolin warriors pursue the fancy feed Shangong Wu, but Hannibal Roy Bean gets to it first. After an encounter with the Blind Swordsman, Hannibal challenges them to retrieve the treasure of the Blind Swordsman from him, leading to a series of punishing training sessions under the watchful eye of Master Monk Guan, who assigns Raimundo the nickname Bobo. Feeling mistreated and humiliated, Raimundo eventually succumbs to Hannibal's persuasion and turns to the dark side. He steals Shangong Wu from the Temple Vault, but is caught in the act by his fellow monks. A Shaolin showdown ensues, with Raimundo ultimately revealing it was a ruse to acquire the treasure of the Blind Swordsman. Master Monk Guan selects Raimundo as the Chosen One, leaving Ami disappointed. The Shaolin warriors embark on a quest to obtain the Mikado Arm, but face an attack by Jack's robots. They successfully claim the Mikado Arm and return to their temple, where they are tasked with choosing a leadership quest. Ami decides to use the Sands of Time to travel 80 years into the future to prevent Hannibal Roy Bean from turning Chase Young evil. However, they discover a grim future where Jack Spicer has taken over the world. Ami's friends are killed in a confrontation with robots, prompting him to use the Sands of Time to go back in time and fix the timeline. They witness a historic battle involving their idols and resolve to prevent Jack Spicer's rise to power in their next adventure. Ami and Dojo Kanojo Cho witness a historic battle between Master Monk Guan, Grandmaster Dashi, and Wu Ya set 1500 years ago. They also encounter a version of Chase Young who is still good. However, their attempt to change the past backfires when they return to the present to find that Master Monk Guan has turned evil instead of Chase Young. With the help of their friends, including a good version of Jack Spicer, they face off against the evil trio of Wu Ya, Hannibal Roy Bean, and the corrupted Master Monk Guan. A Shaolin showdown ensues, leading to a climactic battle to restore the timeline. Ultimately, Raimundo emerges as the new leader and Shoku warrior, and the team faces a new challenge as they prepare to defend the world against their revived enemies. And on this note, our recap comes to an end. Wow, quite an entertaining tune with some elements of anime, but what do you think? What was your favorite moment in the show? Do let us know in the comments, and as for everything else, don't forget to drop us a like and subscribe to Cartoon Mania for more awesome tunes like this recapped on your feet. As always, thanks for watching. Peace!